What do Channing Tatum, a camera, and Bill Cosby have in common? Blink twice. Finally. I have watched so many bad movies this year. It is so nice to finally get one that's a breath of fresh air. It's not perfect, but it's a damn good thriller. Blink Twice is about tech billionaire Slater inviting a group of women to an island with the facade of a god-tier vacation, but with sinister undertones. Our main protagonist, women that end up on the island, will wake up one day with dirt under their nails. The next, they'll wake up with no memory of the previous night. A lighter constantly goes missing. Right off the bat, one thing I love about this one is it is quite literally, unironically, a blink and you'll miss a moment. There are things that if you're paying attention, the film rewards you for reading in between the lines. And while I don't think it's really a think piece where you're going to be like thinking about it afterwards, like, whoa, what just happened? Because they, they explain it to you right at the end of the film. It's more the the journey along the way, I suppose. Now, this is the part where I'd say spoiler warning, but I literally cannot talk about the spoilers unless I want my entire channel immediately demonetized. But I wouldn't do it either way because this is a film you have to experience for yourself. It's not a movie theater film, I don't think, but either way, it's worth at least a stream for sure. There was just not a single point where I had any idea what was happening next. Which, by the way, I cannot remember the last time I have seen a movie where there's an actual psychological warning at the beginning of this movie. You know, I've seen films like Midsummer and Terrifier. And while I don't think this film is on that level, it definitely deserves that warning, though. Channing Tatum, Naomi Aki, and Adria Arjona, I probably butchered those, but all, all three of them deserve an Oscar for this film. The acting was just phenomenal. In fact, I think my only complaint while I'm kind of dancing around spoilers is Slater, the main guy, his motivation doesn't really make too much sense if you think about it too much when you get towards the end of the film, due to Naomi's character having a pretty big interest in him, it'll leave it at that. Go see the movie and then, you know, watch this again. But you know, it's uh, it's one of those things I can brush past because it's an incredible experience on its own. Blink Twice just exceeded my expectations. It's an easy 4.5 out of 5. <laughs> Thank you.